What is up you guys? My name is Jared and you are watching Back Road Exploration and today we're continuing along our trip through the Strawberry Peak area in Utah. So yesterday we went up towards Strawberry Reservoir and it was really, really pretty. Had a lot of fun exploring there and I had this route that was going to take me up and loop me back down and ended up that one of the roads I was choosing was a private road and I couldn't go through there. So I totally veered off of course and went way down and I'm about down here with it now. So I haven't decided if I'm going to loop back up and see if some of the other trails that I had planned for yesterday are still available and I just couldn't access them from where I was trying to or if I want to continue on where I was planning and head back down towards like the Soldier Summit area and then eventually towards Schofield Reservoir and things like that. So I haven't decided that. Probably decide that after we eat some breakfast but I've just been out on a nice little hike this morning our camp is surrounded by this small little aspen grove and then there's this big meadow and then a huge aspen grove back behind us and i love aspen so i've just been wandering around checking things out there's so much activity going on birds singing insects buzzing it's really really green right now it's absolutely beautiful i wouldn't want to be anywhere else so this is great let's get going I'm gonna make some breakfast sandwiches, some croissants. That sounds pretty good. Jump one, two, three. Hey Wyatt, help him find some socks in his packing cube. The double patty cheese breakfast sandwich right there. What do you think, Wyatt? Good. Pretty dang good. Pretty Croissants good. make everything taste good, huh? Oh, look at that little chickmunk back behind you guys. Went into that tree. See him? Ooh, where does he think he's going? Oh, it's not a chickmunk. It's like a little pot gut. Oh, there he goes. He's a brave little guy. So this is one of the main problems about these beautiful mountain campsites like this. I'm sitting here in my chair, I'm relaxing, it's so beautiful, I don't want to pack up. I just want to stay. But we've got a lot of stuff to do, so I'll probably wait here, let the boys play for a little bit. They're out wandering around, playing some game, and let them do that for a little bit, start packing up, hit the trail. Grown a little bit right here. Doesn't look very big, but yeah, that's interesting. Ugh, it's too early for forest fires. I think it's gonna be a bad fire year. That's why we didn't do a fire last night, guys, because it's just so dry out. Look at the view out this window over this mountain range. It is amazing. View ahead's not bad either. Looks like there were some downed trees, but luckily someone's gone through and already cut them. Look at this. Headed down 
White Creek Trail and man the view is incredible just along this ridge line it's really cool As per usual with a lot of these trips, when I'm mapping stuff, I'm, I'm mapping areas a lot of times that I've never been or I, it'll be an area that I've been but a trail that I haven't been on. So I got back to where we were supposed to meet up with the trail from yesterday and I was going to kind of backtrack it and the sign here is telling me that there's no exit which seems hard to believe based on how far the trail goes but I really don't want to go to the end of it and find out that there is no exit um, because that's going to really run out the rest of the day trying to do that unless it you know dead ends and just a few feet or something but the trail on the map goes a long way so I know where this ends out and it can connect us up with some other cool trails so I think I will head down that way and do that versus try to go up and, and run into this and find out that it doesn't work I'm definitely gonna come back another time when I have time to go up there just to see where we end up with it so should be good Basically, this is the route that leads into Highway 6, so we made our way off of the top of those mountains and we're going to jump across uh, Highway 6, I believe, and start making our way up some more mountains. found a little uh, new trail that I've never been on and I'm very curious to see where it ends up it is definitely not well traveled it, I don't think anyone's been on it in a very long time so uh, it should be interesting to see if it actually makes it back to where the map saying it goes to if it does that will be really cool Molly's up there spotting us and by spotting us I mean she's getting tired so she keeps getting in front of me and stopping but <laughs> oh, that dog 
Well, this is why it doesn't look like anyone's driven up here recently. Clearly, the railroad did not want people using this trail. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> so they dug this to block the trail. Then put it there, there, then there's another one there. You can see right over there where the trail goes up. Shoot. I was really hoping we were going to be able to make it this way. But you can see right across right there. That's where the trail goes in. There's definitely no way across that. Well, this is where that road was supposed to end out at. And it's got this ATV dirt bike bridge. It says the weight limit's 2,000 pounds. So I guess if we would have made it over, we would have had to turn around and go back anyways. But not a bad little spot to grab some lunch. So we'll do that. See if Jackie can make it across. Please don't get your cast wet. Molly likes it. It's hot this week, huh? We're just asking for somebody to biff it, get it, ruin their sandwich. Don't fall. Little bit wet. Yeah. Woo. My socks aren't wet. Keep going. Ready? All right, so I'm looking for a little bit of input from you guys that are running awnings. I have wanted one for a while. A lot of times the places that we're at, there's not good shade. Um, it would be nice to be able to pull an awning out. There's been a couple of things holding me back from it. The first one is the wind. Um, while a day like today is not windy at all, a lot of times it's really windy. And so I want to know like, how well do they hold up in the wind? Um, and then other things is like, are, how fast is it to deploy it? Like, do you deploy it when you stop for lunch? Because like right now, where we stopped, there isn't a lot of good shade because we wanted to be right by this little stream. We could have gone in a little bit further and probably found some, you know, trees with shade, but, um, it would be kind of nice to deploy it. But if it's going to take me 20 minutes to take it out, 20 minutes to put it back away, that's just going to be too long. So I've been on the fence about picking one up. And I want to know of you who are using them, it, do you really think it's worth it? Are you using them enough that you think it's worth it? I think we would use it enough that I think it is, but I kind of want to get your guys' real world experience before I go and make a jump like that. In addition to that, let me know what awning you're using and how you like it because that could help me make a, make a good purchase decision. I'm not looking for like a big full wrap around one. Um, that looks like too much work and, and more than I want to spend on this. I'm just looking for one that goes, you know, out the side. So let me know. One thing you got to know when you've got kids is if there's water, they're going to find a way in it. So one thing that I do recommend, I always recommend bringing two sets of shoes. Um, in the winter, I'll bring like a heavier duty style boot and then just like a hiking or running shoe type of a thing. Um, in the summer, I always just have like either my hiking or running shoe and then I bring sandals. So for me, I just use Chacos because I can slip my feet in, strap them in. They're pretty comfortable. I can actually, I'll often hike in them, especially if it's going to be a place where we're going to be getting wet. But I love it for stuff like this where there's a little bit of water. Um, apparently we forgot why it's water shoes, but Jackson's got his on now. I should have put them on earlier, but anyways, he's got his on. I've got mine on. It just makes it nice. You can always have something you can slip your feet into um, in case your regular shoes get wet or muddy or just something kind of crazy like that and it's good to have a backup and I also really like it because if I'm going to do any water crossings I can put those on and wait out there and check the depth and things like that. <laughs> Jackson you just fell all the way in. What almost. Do you do? Yeah, what do you mean almost? Yeah. Everything's wet except for your oh, oh did you get your cast all wet? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to let that dry a bunch today, huh? Oh, well, so much for not getting it wet. Ooh. Molly, come here. Good girl, come on. Good girl, let's get you all wet. It's hot out today, it's like 90 degrees. 
Get her wet. Get her. Get her, Molly! <laughs> She's so funny. She'll swim all day, but if you splash her, she'll run away. She wants to get wet on her own terms. <laughs> Must be some more fire activity. I've seen a bunch of helicopters go by carrying water and even some planes carrying the, you know, whatever the repellent that it is that they drop, but interesting. Up into the Aspens we're making our way up Bear Ridge Trail um, it's one of my favorites you can catch it from a couple of different places off of Starvation Road or off of the road up out of Schofield and it basically leads you up on top and connects to Skyline Drive so if you're doing Skyline Drive ever I highly suggest dropping down this stopping in in Schofield to you know check out some of the cool old history that's there and then driving back up it and including that as a part of your trip along Skyline Drive because you know Skyline's a lot of fun and it's really pretty but it's a real basic road it's pretty well graded this kind of just adds a nice little extra bit of adventure to it can see that smoke behind me that's where all those helicopters and stuff must have been going to that's a different fire than what I saw earlier today uh, that's a lot closer that looks like it's just on the ridge that's over there I don't know if that's along Skyline Drive or what but we're gonna head get on Skyline Drive I was actually gonna go that way but no way I'm going near a fire so we're gonna go on Skyline Drive and start heading south um, towards the Fairview area just in case that is on Skyline Drive because that is not very far away
we have made it to the point on Skyline Drive where it hits pavement just outside of Fairview, Utah to head down Fairview Canyon. We're gonna head down that way and head home. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do. And if you wanna help me out, please share my channel with any of your friends who are into off-roading, camping, overlanding. I really appreciate it. If you wanna follow me on the day-to-day, -day, you can do so at Backroad Exploration. Thanks so much for watching.